My friend Nate dropped off this rug and asked me to make a video to teach him how to clean his rugs at home. But there's one rule. No professional equipment, only stuff that he can go buy at the store and use himself. So I took on the challenge. We're gonna get into it today and get this rug nice and clean. Nate, if you're watching, this video's for you. So let's get started. So the first thing to do is vacuum the rug on top and the bottom. Now, this is the most important step, I feel, because you wanna remove as much of that dry soil that you can before you get the rug wet. I see a lot of times people skip this step and it just makes the cleaning that much harder as you move forward with the actual carpet cleaner itself. So we're gonna vacuum the top and bottom two or three times, remove as much of that dry soil as possible, and then move on to the next step. So you may notice that I'm vacuuming kind of a 360 pattern. This is a great idea for kind of all rugs and especially like the shag or high pile rugs because that way you can get a full vacuuming of all sides of the fiber. So now that the rug is nice and vacuumed, it's time to get into the cleaning. Now, a few things before we get started that I like to mention. Number one is don't mix your soap in your actual carpet cleaner tank itself. Reason being is then you're never gonna be able to flush the soap out of the rug and it's gonna leave behind residue, get sticky and attract dirt and get dirty faster. So what I suggest is to mix it up in a pump up sprayer like this. This is just a garden sprayer. These work great. Mix your cleaning agent in here with water. Because we can't use professional equipment, that also means professional chemicals and shampoos or cleaners. So for this, we're gonna use Zepp's Area Rug Cleaner. You can find this at big box stores or on Amazon. And then we're gonna spray down the entire rug with the shampoo or the cleaner. We're gonna let that sit for about 10 or 15 minutes and gently scrub it in. The other thing this does is allows dwell time. Dwell time is essentially giving the soap time to work and loosen up the dirt that's stuck to the fiber. So if you just spray it down and suck it up right away, it's not gonna have time to do its thing. So giving it that dwell time is really gonna help clean your rug even better. So another tip that you don't have to do, but I suggest doing it if the rug is very dirty, is after you've pre-sprayed it, we got our cleaner sitting on the rug and doing its thing. You can grab a soft bristle brush like this. I got this from just a local big box store. The key here is making sure the bristles are nice and soft but this is just gonna lightly agitate and work in that cleaner. So it loosens up again, the dirt that's attached to the fibers themselves. So now that the rug has been pre-treated with our soap and scrubbed in with the brush, it's time to finally get cleaning. So for this, we're gonna use the Power Dash Plus from Hoover. This is a great little carpet cleaning machine. It's actually pretty reasonably priced and does a really good job. Now remember, we only have warm water in the tank here. We don't wanna add any cleaners like I mentioned because our goal here is to flush out not only all the dirt and soil in the rug, but also the cleaner too. So one thing I wanna mention about this carpet cleaner is you can see there's a trigger right here. So this allows you to control the fresh water that gets put down on the rug. A good rule of thumb when using this, do not over wet the area and saturate it with water, is have it on while you push the machine up, and then when you're coming back, just vacuum, release the trigger, and suck all of that water that you just put down up. So for this rug here, we went over it with two full tanks of fresh water and extracted about four or five dump tanks here. Now a question I get a lot is, do I need to go until my dump water is clear? Usually that's not going to be the case with rugs. You're always going to have a little bit of dirty water. The way to look at it is more from the actual extraction tool on the top of the machine and see what's being still sucked up as you go. If that water is starting to run clear, that usually means the rug is clean. If you still see dirty water being extracted through the top of the machine, I would keep going. Another test you can do to see if the rug is clean is grab a nice clean white towel and then gently scrub at a section of the fibers. If you get dirt to transfer to the white towel, you're gonna wanna continue flushing. If you get a nice clean towel, it's just wet, you should be good to go, the rug is nice and clean. Now, if you don't have access to a carpet cleaning machine, you can also power wash the rug after applying the pre-treat and scrubbing it in or hose it down really well. The only thing that you're gonna run into is you need to get as much of that moisture out of the rug as possible because it's gonna take a little bit longer to dry. 
I suggest using a squeegee to push all of that water off the surface of the rug. The other thing too, just to be mindful of, you only wanna do this if it's a synthetic rug. Wool rugs can be washed this way, but they're much more tricky, so I wouldn't risk it. I would call a professional. So now that the rug is clean, it's still wet, and we need to get it dry as fast as possible. So for this, I suggest some sort of fan, whether it's a box fan like this or a little snail fan. The key here is getting as much airflow over the surface of the carpet so all the moisture inside can evaporate. There you have it. This rug cleaned up great. Nate, now you know how to clean that up at home yourself. Again, with no professional equipment, just things you can go buy at the store. If you guys have any cleaning questions or need help cleaning something around your house, definitely drop a comment and I'll help you clean that up.